As a young kid, I was very active and always looking for a place to run around, so a tennis court was perfect. When I went to university, I did my sports degree, and one of my majors was a thing called Spotlight on Sport, which was an SOS call to try and help people be aware of young children in sport. From there, I continued my uh, progression through table tennis and tennis and worked for the state bodies and came up with programs called Ace Tennis and Smash Sport. And the idea was to turn sport into, so a child was not a little adult, but scale everything down so that it was kid value with color, fun, mini nets, everything was modified so they could play at home, at school. So the whole idea was to get kids more active in all those locations. So Sports Stars is a website that can be accessed by parents and teachers to help children learn skills. So there's a whole range, even though I represent tennis, a good athlete can turn into any sports person they want. So Sports Star is like the ultimate athlete. He, he or she goes out there and visits the kids at school. There's just this great positive energy and we do high fives when we can or share smiles just to stimulate and get the kids active out in the field. On wet days, we have indoor programs which allow kids to go in and they can play table tennis on their desks at home uh, and desks at school. So the idea is to activate kids in all those sort of locations. There's these colour cards which uh, show five different key points for a, a child uh, to master a skill and they're in pictures and they're in 10 different languages and they're just broken down so that they're sort of like a great child resource. All right, Stars TV is a website, it's a positive promotion platform to actually help coaches, tennis coaches, sports coaches with a common platform that everyone can share information. So it's sort of broken into communities. So on your community channels, you touch a button and you're in that zone. The idea behind it is that there's things that happen in events, uh, throughout the year plan of events that people can go to and sort of check things out and say what's happening in my area or they can come and visit a little bit of local tourism, they can come and visit another area and continue on with a festival and it goes right through. So STARS stands for School, Talent, Area, Region, State and some of them could be in a local school in a fete um, and the other one could be at a massive uh, special event at Sydney Olympic Park. There are a lot of resources and I normally create a website that's free so that we can share information. There is one very important resource for tennis coaches called tenniscoachacademy.net. Tenniscoachacademy.net is a website, it's like a library and I put a lot of my free resources on there but I also reached out to people right around the world with their best ideas to share and put it into one location. So the library is something that you can access through your phone or any screen, but it gives the coach an ability to learn best practices from around the world. Some things are free, some things you pay for, but at the end of it, everyone's learning great knowledge. My Coach is another free platform which works with coaches right around the world on one platform, and the coach assesses their students in like an Excel spreadsheet, and the spreadsheet is a student can go to that sheet and say my coach is Andrew Hill and then go down the list in alphabetical order and can see their name and their grade. And the idea is that it's owned by everyone, it's not owned by just one body and so the data is shared but if anyone wants to know more data they go to their local coach and that's how you can share that information. I found the coaches are happy to share information so long as they're not giving away essential data and these days we have to be careful of those sort of things. Uh, Have a Ball is another website that's in the resource. It was commissioned by Table Tennis New South Wales. They wanted to have a wet weather program to experience table tennis in your house. So we put a website together with these new little modified nets that pop up. You can put it on your dinner table. There's a bat and a ball for the children to play at home. And so when you're isolated or if it's wet, you can play against a wall or you can invite your best friend over playing on the dinner table. But you're enhancing skills through the Have A Ball program. Just touch a button and it shows you a video or it shows you a card with how to do a forehand or a backhand. Yeah.
So after going to uni I was then commissioned by Tennis New South Wales to work on programs to help tennis in New South Wales. And they had an original program of Ace Tennis which was about 10 pages. What I did is I put together three manuals together with Tennis Australia and got it out to the schools. And the intention was that you would link coaches with that, get mini tennis into schools and tennis would be one of the top sports. That didn't happen, it was sort of pulled back as a teacher only driven program. So I moved on to another group called Tennis Coaches Australia and wrote the SMASH program, which stood for Skill, Multi, Acquisitional, Sport and Health. And it was looking at every sport and it was actually introduced into the local school by the local coach, creating this really nice community that everyone would uh, go through the local club and activate kids at school and your local club and possibly activate it at home. Some of the best things was that we created some equipment like little mini nets so every kid had one thing in common, they normally have a driveway. So we used the driveway as a mini court, put the little mini net up, you're starting to play against your friend or you could play against a wall just to get those skills up. So with the SMASH program, that then transformed after finishing with the coaches, I set up Sports Star and continued on the same thing with a cartoon mascot and that worked out to be a very good pathway because now Sports Star visits schools and meets people 